hello everyone today in this video we'll be discussing the uh, first module of 21 mat 11 and in this module we have the following topics uh, first is about the angle between the radius vector and tangent angle between two curves pedal equations in this uh, all the uh, all, the, uh, all the three topics we have the uh, derivations as well as the numericals and uh, we have the next topic which is curvature and radius of curvature here also we have the one derivation and the numericals associated with that and there are four types of uh, forms which is cartesian uh, parametric polar and pedal forms you have to know to how to derive the equations in all of these forms and finally we have the uh, center of, uh, center uh, means circle center that equation and the evolutes and involutes in this we have one numerical okay so we'll be discussing all the topics uh, one by one and uh, we'll be solving some questions as well so if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so let's get started with the first uh, derivation which is uh, regarding the uh, under the topic polar curves and uh, the uh, derivation is about the angle between the radius of the vector and its tangent okay radius of vector and its tangent what do you mean by radius of vector if suppose that there is a point here and from that there is a line here and this is a curve okay like this a curve is going and this is the radius of that curve in that radius if you find out the tangent at this point that is known as t that is uh, the tangent okay this is theta and this is psi and here we have r is equal to f of theta this uh, equation and this point is p of r comma theta now what we have to find out is the uh, angle between the radius of uh, vector and its tangent okay what is the uh, radius of uh, vector and its tangent that angle is nothing but um, this angle here okay this angle we are, are trying to find out this is the angle phi which we are trying to find out okay so uh, we know that uh, this angle is nothing but uh, this angle plus this angle right so uh, psi is equal to phi plus theta now take, uh, taking tan on both sides what we get is tan uh, psi is equal to tan uh, phi plus theta and after that uh, by using the equation we get this form and after that we will be writing tan psi as dy by dx and this will be as follows okay then we'll be taking x is equal to r cos theta and uh, y is equal to r sin theta then differentiating with respect to theta uh, these two with respect to theta if you differentiate what we get is uh, dx by d theta as cos theta and uh, dr by d theta as uh, so uh, what we get is this whole equation dx by d theta is equal to cos theta dr by d theta minus r sin theta same thing for dy by d theta as well and uh, we'll be using these two equations in the further derivations okay so m is equal to dy by dx that is a slope dy by dx is equal to dy by d theta divided by dx by d theta why we are doing is because we have the, uh, this one answer and this one answer so if to get this one we'll be accepting the value of uh, this one here and this one here okay these two values are we have just found out these two values dx by d theta and dy by d theta then we'll be substituting them after we are substituting them to simplify it firstly you have to divide by cos theta uh, dr by d theta if you divide the whole term the numerator and denominator by this term what you get is this form and uh, further simplification will lead us to this form okay and taking the r common and those things when you do when uh, you will be getting this form here and if you compare what you get is uh, phi and uh, theta here so um, tan theta is common here in both and here also it's common so instead of tan phi what you have is r d theta by dr so therefore what you get is tan phi is equal to r d theta, uh, r d theta by dr and uh, phi is equal to tan inverse of this value here and 1 by tan um, uh, 1 by tan phi is equal to 1 by this value and uh, that is nothing but cot phi cot phi is equal to 1 by r dr by d theta this is the main equation okay this equation will be using in numerical as well as in the further derivations so coming to the next uh, uh, means uh, this is just a theoretical concept what is the angle between two polar curves suppose that there are two polar curves this is one curve and this is another curve okay this one and um so these are two curves which are represented as r is equal to um, f2 theta and f1 theta okay so uh, there are two tangents as well so the two tangents are uh, t1 and t2 so if you observe carefully this is the uh, tangent t1 and this is the radius so the angle is um, uh, phi1 okay and this is t2 and uh, this is the radius therefore the angle is phi2 and the difference between phi1 and phi2 is this angle phi okay this is the angle phi now uh, that's all what is uh, to be observed here phi is equal to the uh, modulus of phi1 minus uh, phi2 minus phi1 okay that is the angle between two polar curves now uh, there is a derivation here which is uh, show that with a visual notation 1 by p square is equal to 1 by r square plus 1 by r power 4 dr by d theta whole square for that make this diagram first make the x-axis and there is a radius here and make a point here may, uh, means uh, make a line here and uh, that line should have 90 degree with this one okay i have not made perfectly but uh, this is the point okay 
90 degree with this one and if you make this diagram here then make uh, like the points o p and m okay <coughs> then we'll be uh, deriving this equation as you can observe from this uh, diagram what is sin phi see uh, consider this as 90 degree if this is 90 degree here what is uh, sine of this one sine of this one is opposite by hypotenuse so uh, what will be hypotenuse this is hypotenuse and opposite is this one right so if i consider this as um, r and uh, om as p then it will be p by r right so sin phi is equal to p by r then uh, p is equal to r sin phi p square is equal to r square sin square phi take the uh, inverse of it and you will get cosec square right it has 1 plus cot square and cot uh, we had found out the formula right cot phi is nothing but 1 by r dr by d theta in the previous equation right so substitute that and uh, expand it you will get this equation okay that's all what you have to do in this equation and moving on uh, to the numerical uh, part find the angle between the radius vector and the tangent to the polar curve polar curve is given and theta is, equals, uh, theta is also given read the question carefully what is given find the angle between between what radius of vector and tangent which is the equation which you have to use the first equation right cot phi 1 okay for cot phi is equal to 1 by r dr by d theta okay so uh, r value is given here so what you are supposed to do is uh, uh, differentiate it uh, with, uh, with respect to theta because we need dr by d theta right so when you differentiate it uh, you will get uh, minus a sin theta then what is 1 by r dr by d theta a sin theta by r and um, r's value is substitute what is given 1 plus uh, a into 1 plus cos theta then uh, simplify to get the further equation and uh, use the formulas as well so finally you will arrive at this equation minus t, uh, tan theta by 2 substitute this value in uh, the place of 1 by r dt, uh, dr by d theta in the main equation which is cot phi equation okay so if this is equal to cot phi you can directly write cot phi is equal to cot uh, pi by 2 plus theta by 2 because of tan, uh, minus tan theta by 2 can be written as uh, cot pi by 2 plus theta by 2 in that uh, you will get the value of phi which is uh, pi by 2 plus theta by 2 now uh, theta is given as pi by 4 therefore phi is equal to pi by 2 plus pi by 4 by 2 that is nothing make phi pi by 8 okay so this is how you solve this equation uh, means problem okay moving on to the next pro uh, topic which is pedal form of the polar curve and pedal equation very important one so p is equal to r sin theta take the inverse and square it you will get this one this is the pedal equation or pr equation how to use this in formula you will be given with the r value here and then uh, you will have find dr by d theta after that you will take the inverse of it means uh, divide by r after that take it as uh, cot phi that equate it as this one and finally find out what is the value of uh, theta uh, means phi you will get as theta by 2 in this case then substitute the value of uh, phi in uh, as theta by 2 and uh, use the pedal equation and after that you just uh, simplify it that's all uh, nothing much is there you just have to remember the formula and know the simplification process okay there are a few steps like first you have to find out dr by d theta and then apply the formula and then simplify it okay keep on simplifying until you get this equation that's the final answer okay that's how you solve the pedal equation and the uh, numericals uh, associated with that the next topic is the radius of curvature here what we have is the uh, what is the radius of curvature here is the curvature and here is the radius that's the radius of curvature okay cartesian form these are the formulas you can go through it and the parametric form polar form these are the different forms uh, in which the um, radius of curvature is written we'll be deriving each of these form now so the first uh, form is the cartesian form so how to derive it let f of xy is equal to c be a curve and let psi be the angle of angle made within the initial line uh, then m is equal to tan uh, psi which is nothing but dy by dx okay first take tan uh, psi is equal to dy by dx which is y1 after you have taken that what is the value of psi it is tan inverse of y1 differentiate with respect to x what you will get is this one and um, we know that the radius of curvature is ds by d psi okay remember this one radius of curvature is p which is uh, ds by d psi since you have got uh, d psi by dx you can write this in this form ds by dx by d psi by dx then uh, the arc length is ds by dx is nothing but uh, root of one uh, one plus y one square substitute these two values in this equation and simplify it to get the final answer okay Derivation in the polar form, uh, you have to make this uh, diagram here, same diagram as we have discussed earlier also. Take psi is equal to theta plus phi, differentiate it with respect to p, and um, just uh, there's the derivation uh, part here. See, when you take uh, psi as theta plus phi, if you differentiate this one, obviously you will differentiate theta and phi uh, separately, right? So, here what you can do is uh, d phi by d theta and ds by d theta because these two values are known to us. So, that uh, that's what we can take and uh, after that we will be taking the d, d theta by ds as common and we have this in the bracket, okay? After that, um, d theta by dr, 
that will be substituting uh, so you have one r into one by uh, dr by d theta uh, this is nothing but r1 so uh, tan phi is equal to uh, r by r1 so phi value you got as tan inverse of r by r1 now you understood why you took uh, the value uh, means this equation to find out the phi value after finding out the phi value we will put it here and substitute and uh, differentiate okay so that's what we will be doing here r by r1 that one we will substitute here and uh, differentiate it and after you differentiate we will get this equation here and that equation will be substituted back in the main formula uh, in the place of d phi by d theta where it will be substituted here it will be okay 1 plus uh, d phi by d theta after we do that also uh, ds by d theta is equal to root of r square plus r1 square so d theta by ds will be the reverse of it and uh, we have got the value of ds by d theta as well as uh, d psi by d theta so we'll substitute that in the main equation 1 by uh, p equation and then uh, for the simplifying will lead us to this equation which is nothing but the um, this one uh, the radius of curvature in the polar form okay so uh, that's all how you derive in the uh, equation in the polar form coming to parametric form this is the third form here what you have to take is uh, x is equal to f of t and y is equal to f of t because in parametric form you have the third variable t okay so what is tan phi it is, it is dy by dx that is dy by dt by d, dx by dt t and um, y dash by x dash and differentiate with respect to x you will get this one see these are just the steps there is nothing difficult in it you just have to practice and remember which formula what you have to do okay just simplification purpose nothing much here you will get this equation okay uh, you will be using this equation uh, you have, we have derived earlier by using this equation what you have to do is substitute the value of y1 here and y2 which you, got, which, uh, you have got here in the about terms after differentiating just simplify it that's your answer x dash nothing but dx by dt by uh, like uh, for the uh, shortcut way we have written it like this and uh, yeah that's all what you have to do this is the final equation and these are the I mean substitution values okay so just uh, go through the concepts and practice it one by one you'll get to know okay it's not uh, it's not difficult okay finally we have the radius of curvature in, of the polar curve in the pedal form here is the uh, form is given not the derivation so you just have to write this in this form okay p is equal to r dr by dp okay so here's the type of the problem which you could expect in exam find the radius of curvature of the given equation y is equal to log sec uh, x by a and at any point okay so first write y here i'll just tell you the steps here then differentiate y with respect to x and after you have got dy by dx and um, find out d square y by dx square and after you have got that you will be using that in this equation p is equal to see this equation you have derived right you just have to need dy by dx as well as d square y by dx square find out that substitute in this equation then simplify it okay after you simplify what answer you will get that's your final answer okay coming to the uh, last topic which is uh, center of curvature involute and evolute here what we have is the formula which is the center of uh, curvature if c uh, center of curvature is uh, c of alpha comma beta which means if there is a graph here and center of curvature is here this point is known as alpha comma beta that value can be written as x minus p uh, p psi and uh, b is equal to y plus p cos phi B, uh, p cos psi but the main formula which you use is alpha is equal to x minus y1 uh, into uh, 1 plus y1 square by y2 y1 plus 1 plus y1 square by y2 these two are the main formulas which will be using the numericals so let's see how to solve this one show that the evolute of uh, parabola see in the exam they last just to find out the evolute okay so uh, the parabola is given as y square is equal to 4ax is uh, 27ay square for x minus 2a whole cube okay uh, firstly what you have to do which parabola they have given choose that after that differentiate keep on differentiating until you find out uh, d square y by dx and uh, dy by dx okay after you have found out uh, y1 and y2 what you have to do is write the alpha value which is in the main formula x minus y1 into 1 plus y1 square by y2 substitute the values of y1 and y2 here and simplify you will get one answer here after that do the same thing for beta after you have done for this one do for beta write the formula substitute the values here and simplify it okay that's all uh, just the practice will make you more better in it and just remember the steps what in what equation what you have to do okay that's all so after you have got these two things like beta value also you'll get here and after you have got the uh, value of uh, means both the equations from equation 1 and 2 what you get is x cube is common so you can write this one is equal to this one and if you like uh, cross multiply it what you get is this one this is what they have given in the main question if you go back see this is the main question right which they have given to prove so uh, after doing the following steps you will get the same equation here okay 
and that's all what you have to do in the module one of uh, 21 mat uh, 11 so um, just keep on practicing more problems you'll be solving another uh, means i'll be making another video which have which will have more important topics and the more problems so till then uh, thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one